Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. My name is Savannah Playford, the Director of Youth Ministry at Dixon United Methodist Church. Whenever you are watching this, welcome to today's daily devotion. The weather has been kind of up and down the last few days, right? We've had rain, windy days, random days where it gets kind of warm, but regardless, we are in the midst of spring. This is all normal for spring weather. Don't you kind of love it? The bees are out, the flowers are blooming, and allergies are in full swing, am I right? Well, every spring I get this urge to become a gardener. At first, I was not a good gardener and I killed almost every plant that I touched. Now, I've kind of got the hang of things and I love gardening so much, and my skills have improved. My skills have improved so much so that my mom noticed my skills and asked if I could help her with her yard and her garden this year. Of course, I jumped on the opportunity to help her and also show off my skills a little bit. The problem is my skills are not as good as I had originally thought because I accidentally killed her grass in her yard. Therefore, I had to pull up all of the dead grass, put in new seeds, put new soil, and I've been watering it constantly. I was so excited to finally see the grass come up, but nothing yet. And I've been checking every single day and finally I've seen like maybe five or six little, little tiny pieces of grass coming through. It's been a few days and I'm starting to lose hope. However, I reminded myself of this verse in Isaiah. Today I wanna to share with you Isaiah 58, 11 through 12 that says this. The Lord will guide you continually and will provide for you, even in the parched places. He will rescue your bones. You will be like a watered garden like a spring of water that won't run dry. They will rebuild ancient ruins on your account. The foundation of generations will pass you will restore. You will be called mender of broken walls, restorer of livable streets. In these verses, it shows five different things that God can do for us. One, it says that he will guide us continually. The road of life may be uncertain, dark, bumpy, whatever it may be, God is with us. And number two, God will satisfy our soul through a drought. We as Californians know everything there is to know about a drought. I've lived in California my entire life and we have always been in a drought for as long as I've been here. Although we have a physical drought, we may also experience a spiritual drought where we don't feel close or connected to God. You know, kind of like a mountain. Sometimes we're at the very top of the mountain and very connected to God, and others you're in the valley or in the desert where there could be a drought from your spiritual relationship. And third, in these verses, it explains that God will strengthen our bones. Life is hard, it's not always easy, but God is going to strengthen us. And number four, God will make you a flourishing garden. Have you ever been through a flourishing garden? It's beautiful. It has so many different colors, flowers, insects, maybe food or plants that you can nourish your body. A well-watered garden brings forth life, enjoyment, and nourishes many people. But all that cannot happen unless there is water. So number five, God says that he will make us like a never-failing spring of water. That is the last thing that God promises. So just like my garden that still needs more water to be brought back to life, we need more water, which is God, to continue in our spiritual relationship. So I encourage you today to spend some time outside and remind yourself of the flourishing garden and remind yourself of the flourishing garden that our spiritual life can be like if we spend a little more time with God.